35 years in this spot, time has stood still at the Family Buggy Restaurant. It takes you back to the days of the 35 cent haircut, the general store, and fresh homemade food. But sadly, the times have finally caught up. The economy has slowed down. This is our last restaurant. Bottom line, like a lot of businesses nowadays, we're not making money and we've lost a lot. And and uh, so I have to close it. And it really has been a family place with some staff members who saw the doors of the first restaurant open in Detroit in 1967. It's very, very sad. Very sad. It's been my life. They've been wonderful, wonderful people to work for. All the, the customers, the, you know, the waitresses, the staff, uh, management, everybody has always been great. I have a son 37 and a son 33. Um, we've been coming here their whole life, and now I come here with my granddaughter. I come here at least once a week with friends, and we absolutely love the place, and we're so sorry to see it go. The closing notice is sitting in the lobby, but sitting in the seats are families like Jennifer Curran and her two sisters trying to show their children this family feeling. I grew up going to, it used to be called the Buggy Works, and now it's the Family Buggy, and um, I was really sad to, to read that they're closing. So I brought my kids who start to come now, and uh, we thought we'll get in a couple more visits while we can. The restaurant's last day open is January 8th, 2012. In Farmington Hills, I'm Glenda Lewis, 7 Action News.